Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Chabot presentation today. It's going to be featuring our art and digital media pathway. And yeah, I just want to welcome you all. Thanks for joining our video. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be joining on the recording. But uh, thank you for joining us. This is um, some pictures of our campus here. And yeah, welcome to Chabot College. And again, it's for our art and digital media pathway. We're going to be talking specifically about that, but we're also going to be talking about enrolling into Chabot as part of this presentation. So we'll start with our introductions. My name is Alan Mar David. I am one of the outreach specialists um, at Chabot College. So I'm supporting the students who are incoming. So a lot of you are high school students right now. You might have seen me in other presentations or um, seen emails from me, but I'm one of the folks who are here to help you transition from high school onto uh, college, especially at Chabot College. And I'm gonna have my colleague introduce herself, Vicky. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Ugaki. Um, I work for Arts, Media and Communication. I'm a senior instructional assistant. Uh, so what that means is that I am basically the person who would help you with labs, um, you know, maybe if you wanted to find a job on campus, I can definitely help you with that. Um, if you're interested in any events that we might have, or even um, if you just have any general questions about degrees and certificates, I can definitely send you um, resources on how to find those things. And here's our agenda for today. We're going to talk about the SOAR program. It's the program that we want you all to apply for as we support you uh, becoming Chabot students. We'll talk about some of our special programs. And then, like I said earlier, we're gonna cover some information on the art and digital media pathway at Chabot. And then um, since this is a recording, you could just email either me or Vicky. Um, the description will be on the YouTube um, uh, text box, the description. You'll see our contacts there if you need to contact us about any questions about our presentation today. So before we get started, I just wanted to talk about two, um, two uh, important tools that you're gonna have uh, at, uh, to support you, okay? So on the left side, we have a SOAR handout and we're gonna go over it uh, after, I, you know, after this side, I'm gonna show you in detail what you are um, expected to do as you apply and your, your process of, of becoming a Shibo student. And on the right side is an onboarding tool me and the outreach team put together. So if you're having you know, struggles with steps um, applying to Shibo, we have application supports um, and also supports for the other steps. So we'll go over both of those tools in the next couple of slides. So I'm gonna switch over to that. All right, so in front of you, you see the SOAR handout in detail. We're gonna go over it. And basically the SOAR program stands for the Student Orientation and Registration Program. This is a, a checklist that we have created for all the high school students that are planning to go to Chabot next year. So if you look at this, um, the steps, um, it will be shown on the le left side here and then when they're due on the right side and then the description of the step of what you need to do is right here in the middle, okay? So the very first step that we need you all to do is to apply for Chabot. Um, all, the, um, all the information you need will be right here, but if you click on any of the, of the text that's underlined in blue, it'll bring you to um, the corresponding place on our website. So please click on this and look at the the um, tips that we give you. So some tips for the application is we want you under the education section to say that you received the high school diploma because you're filling this out um, as if you're gonna, you know, you just finished high school because it's gonna show a date and that date's gonna be after you graduated. So please put received high school diploma. And in one of the questions, it's a supplemental question. There's a gonna, gonna be a question that says, are you currently a high school senior planning on participating in the 2021 high school um, SOAR program. 
and you're going to say yes and please select your high school. And we want you, well, it's already started, so please do this ASAP in the next following weeks because our um, this SOAR program is going to be due soon, okay? The second step is to check your e um, email. So after a day or two, you're going to get your your Chabot ID numbers, also known as a W number. And that's gonna be coming in your email. And you wanna keep sure, you wanna make sure that you keep that number somewhere safe because it's an important number to log into your different um, tools that you have for Chabot, okay? So please write that down, put it on your phone, under your notes. And um, that number is gonna be your number, you know, forever at Chabot, okay? Step three is to Log on to Class Web. It's our online portal. It's for a space for you to be able to look at your grades, to register for classes, and do a whole bunch of different things at Chabot. We want you to practice logging into that after you get your W number. And also to check your zone mail. It is our Chabot email that we provide to you. It's basically Gmail. But the main thing about Zone Mail is this is a place where you get uh, important information from Chabot, such as our financial aid department or our um, admissions and records department. So all this important information that we need to get out to you is going to go through your Zone Mail flow. So please try logging on to that. And here are instructions on how to log on. Okay. Number four, if you haven't already, please do your financial aid, either do a FAFSA or Dream app. And if you need help on, 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 on doing your application for either one of those, you could go to our financial aid webpage and it's on this link right here and it'll bring you to our drop-in, our Zoom-in sessions where you could get help with your application. I mean, the priority deadline was in, done, due on May 2nd, but you still have time to do it. If anything, just do it. and. Um, Please, if you need help, come to our Zoom in sessions with some of our financial aid staff at Chabot. Number five, you could just watch the recording of the high school presentation. This is the one that our, um, our SOAR team put together. So please watch that if you can. Number six is an online orientation. This link will bring you right to it. It's due by May 14th and it's it's an online orientation, so it's a, um, a series of videos that give you information about Chabot and all the things that we offer and our support services. So please check that out. There'll be the video and then a short quiz after each, each section, and you don't have to finish it all in one sitting. You could do it um, spread out amongst multiple days, but we want you to do it by May 14th, okay? Number seven is our Learning Communities and Special Programs Interest Form. You could check out, at the diff, um, check out the different programs we have offered at Chabot by clicking here, and it'll give you a little um, questionnaire about, um, about um, different kind of supports you may need. So you would answer yes or no. Check out this interest form, and then based on what programs may fit you or might be interesting to you, um, our Chabot team will get um, that information and be contacting you. And I have one program I think that might fit well for the art and digital media folks is our first year experience art and digital media pathway. I'll talk about that little, a little bit later with the um, future, uh, in the future slide. So um, we'll put that also in the YouTube link uh, I'll link the um, actual section so you could just watch the part about the first year experience, first year experience art and digital media pathway. So please check that out. I'll talk about it more in detail a little bit later. Um, but you could join multiple programs. So please look through this to see if there's another program that also fits your needs. Step number eight is your math and English placement. You no longer have to take a test. You just got to go on class web and answer some questions around how you did in math and English. Follow the directions here. You also have to do that by May 14th. If you need support on doing some of these steps, I'm going to show you uh, that onboarding tool to get support. So just in case you need help. But yes, please get this done by May 14th. On 
on step nine, you, if you're interested in joining one of our summer bridge programs, please do that. You actually have past SOAR, you could do it by June 1st, but check out this link. We have different options to support you as you transition between high school and college. And um, so there's something for our STEM students. There's something for students who wanna get their study skills up. And then there's just various workshops that are happening in the summer. So please take a look at this. Um, it's also based, you could take all of our summer bridge um, op, um, options, or you could just take one based on, you know, the time that you have over the summer. But please take a look at that. Step 10 is your student educational plan. You're going to be working with one of the Chabot counselors. If you're watching this early enough, we do have some sessions at your high schools. So please check in with your counselor. If you miss those sessions or can't get into one, you still can just make your own appointment. It'll be not just with your folks at your school, but with um, all different types of students who are becoming Chabot students. You sign up by clicking on this link and you need to complete this if you wanna get in SOAR by May 14th as well, okay? And then step number 11 is, um, it's if we need additional information about your financial aid, you may have to fill out an extra form or two, and you need to do that by July 1st. Sometimes FAFSA or the DREAM app doesn't have enough information for Chabot to figure out what kind of aid we could give you. So you might have to do a couple extra forms. So please double check. If you have to, you could still go to our financial aid drop-in to see if you need that. But check out this video to figure out if there's additional requirements you need to do, okay? And if you completed a majority of these steps, except the ones that are like the summer bridge and the financial aid supplemental forms, SOAR day will be on May 21st. So you're gonna get a good, you know, four to five days before other students could apply. This is gonna give you, uh, or register, I mean, that this will give you, you know, more space to create your schedule the way you like it. And uh, again, if you completed the steps above, you get to do it by May 21st. We're also going to have an extra day, I believe, on May 22nd to support you. So please complete all the steps on this SOAR handout. I'm going to show you the onboarding tool we created to help you with these steps just in case you need to get and go to a drop-in and get staff, uh, get support from our staff. So let me change to that screen. This right here is our Step into Chabot uh, online boarding, on, onboarding tool. And it's to help you with the steps on SOAR. If you look here on the left side, it shows which step we could help you with. So for example, let's say you need help with financial aid. You could just click on here and it'll show you the hours that we have staff available to support you. And you could just click on the link here and it will bring you, as long as you go during these times, it will bring you to a support staff that could help you. And then we'll also have other information on financial aid here that might help you. Maybe you need to talk to a financial aid advisor. You could come to El Centro, um, one of our departments at Chabot to support you. And there's also information on Chabot Promise and the Dream Center on this page. Um, let's say you need help with the math and English placement. Here are the instructions, but if you need help, you could go to our drop-ins that our outreach team is doing here, or you can go to our, um, our um, student services drop-in times that are on right here. So there's different folks at Chabot to help you with these various steps. If you're, if you're shopping for a learning community or special program, I shared some of the programs that we have at Chabot this year. I think, um, like I said earlier, the first year experience program will probably be one of the ones that fits a lot for the arts and digital media folks. Um, but we also have Puente, Amoja, Movement a API, which is our uh, Asian Pacific Islander learning community that's starting this year. If you're more into social justice, we have a learning community for you here. If you had an IEP and maybe need um, support, um, we have our disabled students um, programs and services right here. We have EOPS for folks who are um, maybe needing economic support. And if you need 
to look at our other programs because these are not our only programs. You could click on the link here. Okay, so this is an onboarding tool just to support you if you need help with the source steps. So please check out this link. It's gonna be in the description on the YouTube clip as well. And also we're gonna share it with your teachers if you need to get to this tool. So back to the main presentation. I wanted to talk about this right quick before we give the, the mic to Vicky. But one of the programs I really think y'all should really consider is our first year experience program. And here are the different pathways. But like I said, the main thing I think um, a lot of you would fit in is an art, our, our art and design pathway. And hold on, here are the different services that we give you through first year experience. Um, we have a schedule that's ready for you. Uh, we have a space for you to work with other students. You get to have a counselor that's available to you throughout the year. And you also get to work with some of our student um, staff. We have fun events throughout the year. While we're online, we'll have them online. But in person, we've done like food events, uh, we've done video game night, things like that. And then while we were online, we've done movie nights and game nights like also. Um, also, the great thing about this program is you get to build with some of our lead instructors on campus who are familiar with the industry. And because this is a first year program, you get to meet other first year students. So you get to build a network of folks that you possibly might be working with one day. So this is a great way to get started. Um, if you're in our art and digital media pathway, we'll, be we'll have classes that are gonna help prep you in, in that pathway. In, in that pathway. And um, I'm actually gonna give it to Vicky now and she's gonna talk more about what you could go, uh, what you could learn and what you could gain at Chabot through the art and digital media pathway. Thanks so much, Alan, for um, uh, explaining all of that to them. Um, I think that that information was really helpful. Um, yeah, so my name again is Victoria Ukaki, and I'm here to talk about the, degree, the degrees and certificates for arts, media, and communication, and just some of the programs that we have to offer. So first off, who are we? So arts, media, and communication serves a wide variety of programs that focus on visual arts, performing arts, communication, and humanities. Some of our programs include architecture, studio arts, digital media, communication studies, film and animation, music, art history, photography, and much, much more. Um, but today we'll just focus on a few of our programs. So starting off, um, I'll start with architecture and interior design. Um, so if you're interested in maybe drafting design plans for um, buildings, uh, like if you're interested in like the really um, intricate architecture, like maybe the Sydney Opera House or um, even some airports, like this is definitely a program for you. And also interior design, of course. So um, our architecture and interior design programs explore architectural engineering, 3D modeling, construction management, landscape architecture, interior design, and also much more. Um, the students in interior di design program will get an understanding of building materials and construction, space planning, conventional, and computer drafting. Uh, some of the degrees and certificates that you can earn are the Architecture AA, the Architecture Technology Certificate of Achievement, the Interior Design um, Associate in Science, the Interior Design Residential Certificate of Achievement, and the Kitchen and Bath Design Certificate of Achievement. Um, some of the careers that you can go into if you decide to go with these programs is um, you can be an architect, a landscape architect, um, a developer, interior designer, um, you can be a person who preserves historic buildings, um, or you can be a drafter. Um, here are some photos that we have um, of our architecture student work. Um, so the architecture program is a very hands-on um, program. So is interior design. Uh, you do use a lot of traditional techniques in terms of like model building. Um, I have seen students uh, build out like miniature furniture. Like I think I saw students build out like a tiny couch um, 
and using real textiles and stuff like that too. Um, I've also included a photo of what um, our studio space looks like. So this is one of our lab spaces for architecture and interior design. As you can see, we have like a very large drafting tables. Um, that way it's a little bit easier for students to kind of get their work done. Um, I think it's it's more convenient to have a larger space to work with because I think that oftentimes you don't really have that space at home. Uh, so we do have that and offer that to our students on campus. And moving on to our art program, um, if you're interested in things like traditional arts so maybe like painting or ceramics, uh, sculpture or even drawing, uh, this is definitely a program that uh, you can look into. And I do highly recommend it because I feel like traditional art is a very good base for any other types of art that you want to, um, such as like digital, digital media or film. Um, that's something that I, I'll talk about a little bit later. So our art program offers a range of courses, including drawing, painting, ceramics, and sculpture. Our students will have the opportunity to gain an understanding of the meanings and ideas generated by the things that we make. Um, our art program is actually accredited by the National Association of Schools of Art and Design. And what that means is that the credits that you earn with these programs are transferable to CSUs, UCs, and also some private schools. Uh, we also have other programs that are accredited as well. Um, feel free to contact me about what programs are, and I'm happy to give you that information. Um, so basically, you're able to learn fundamental school skills without uh, paying the high cost of an art school. Um, I actually went to an art Art school and um, it was pretty expensive and I really wish that we had this sort of program um, you know when I was going to college and I do think that that it will help a lot um, for those who are thinking about pursuing art and some of the art degrees uh, that we have are the studio art AAT so that's a transferable degree uh, we also have AAs in fine art ceramics painting and drawing, sculpture, and studio foundations. The careers that you can um, look forward to are painter, sculpture, printmaker. You can be a scientific illustrator. You can be a regular illustrator for like maybe books or um, video games, even maybe movie posters. Um, you can also be a person who works at art exhibits, um, a muralist, a model maker portrait artists. Um, you can be a person who appraises art. Uh, you can even be an art therapist um, or even an art consultant. Um, so these are some examples of the student work that we have. Um, all of these were actually featured in our art gallery. And um, we usually have art gallery shows um, when you know, before the pandemic. And oftentimes we show off our students' work. And there are also other um, areas on campus where you'll be able to see student work as well. Um, but if you are a student who is pursuing art, then you will likely be able to see your work on display and you can even like invite your family and stuff to look at them as well. So moving on, uh, we have the digital media and graphic design program. Um, and I think that this is probably the program that you guys might be the most interested in. So um, if you're interested in maybe uh, making logos or even designing um, like packaging design or uh, even greeting cards or uh, even motion graphics and things like that, um, this is definitely the program for you. So uh, the digital media and graphic design program focuses on both the creative and technical nature of digital media. Our courses are well-rounded, providing fundamentals of design and composition, web and graphic design, and also digital illustration. Our students learn an array of technical skills using the Adobe's Creative Suite. So that's Illustrator and Photoshop, um, InDesign, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Um, I'm sure you guys might be familiar with those already. Um, and also in our web program, our students use, um, oh, our students learn HTML and CSS. And those are just um, computer languages that are used for building websites. And moving on to our degrees and certificates. Uh, so we have a graphic design AA. We also have a graphic design certificate of achievement and a digital media arts certificate of achievement. The careers that you can go into is graphic designer. You can be a person who works with typography. So that's um, like 
working with fonts and text and things like that. You can be a package designer, a web designer, art director, a digital illustrator. You can work in TV, film, and entertainment. So it's like movies and stuff like that. Um, you can be an animator, a concept artist, video game designer, or a person who works in visual effects. And here are some of our digital media and graphic design work from our students. Um, when you're in our classes, you'll learn like how to make logos um, and patterns and things like that. Um, and this was also um, shown in one of our art galleries. So again, if you are someone who's pursuing our programs, you'll definitely see your work um, out in an art gallery, um, which is on campus as well. Moving on to film and animation, um, if you guys are interested in like movies or even if you're interested in Studio Ghibli or uh, Pixar, DreamWorks, um, this is definitely a program that you might wanna look into. So the film and animation program teaches students to apply the principles of storytelling, cinematography, lighting, editing, and visual effects. We offer a supportive and creative environment for filmmaking, animation, and motion graphics. Students also learn an array of technical skills, again, with the Adobe Creative Suite, so Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. The degrees and certificates that you guys can earn is the film, television, and electronic media um, associated in science transfer. Um, you can also earn the film and animation AA, the animation certificate of achievement, and the filmmaking certificate of achievement. Um, the careers that you can go into is a filmmaker, animator, storyboard artist, concept artist, a 3D modeler. Uh, so that's for like, you know, Pixar type, um, movies and stuff like that. Uh, you can be a creative director, a videographer, a cinematographer, um, a motion graphics designer, production designer, or even a makeup artist. I think I'm assuming that's probably for film. Um, and I have some stills here from our film and animation students. So we, on the top right, we have a still from a stop, um, a stop motion. Um, piece that a student did. And then we also have a uh, motion graphics still on the bottom right. And on the left, we have a uh, still from one of our short films. Um, if you guys want access to any of these uh, shorts, we do have a Vimeo channel and I provided that link here. Um, I can also link you guys to this presentation that way you can kind of um, have the information uh, at, you know, at hand when you need it. So moving on to mass communications. Uh, so mass communications is basically, um, if you're interested in radio and television, or maybe you want to be a reporter or a journalist, uh, this is definitely a program that you might wanna look into. Uh, so the students in our mass communication program uh, will explore how the news content is delivered through a variety of mediums, the social and cultural impact of the media and its role in shaping public perception. Um, our students will gain hands-on experience in our lab spaces for journalism, uh, radio broadcasting, and even get to utilize our Shobo TV studio. Um, so we do have a fully equipped studio. Um, it comes with um, just a bunch of like equipment and things that you get to learn about. Um, so our degrees and certificates are the journalism AA transfer. Uh, we also have the journalism AA, the mass communications AA, and radio and television broadcasting AA. The careers that you can go into are journalist, reporter, designer, director, um, editor or copy editor. You can be a news producer, a camera operator, um, a radio TV professional, or you can even be a DJ. And here are some photos of um, our Shibo TV studio. Um, we, do, we do have a lot of lab time that is scheduled in these studios. So you get like a ton of experience like working with actual equipment. Um, so yeah, and our students seem to have like a lot of fun. They do record like Chabot News and we even have um, a Chabot newspaper that students work on as well. Um, yeah, and we also have a radio station that students also um, get to work and operate in as well. So moving on to our photography program, um, 
yes, if you're into taking photos, um, even like really artsy photos, I definitely suggest our photography program. So um, our photography program provides a rich and thorough grounding in the skills and aesthetics of photography um, that also allows our students to succeed in a radically shifting field of photography. Um, we also have a fully equipped dark room that our students can access. Um, the degrees and certificates that we have are the Digital Photography Certificate of Achievement. We have the Fine Art Photography AA, and we have the Photography Certificate of Proficiency. Um, the careers that you can go into are architectural photographer, commercial photographer, uh, corporate photographer, photojournalist, um, portrait photographer, or a scientific photographer. Um, showing these photos, um, this is actually photos of our dark room. And we also have um, a light studio that we use in some of our rooms as well. Um, a lot of times we do have models come in that can help pose for our students. Um, and, you know, we kind of uh, let them learn how to do like studio um, photography and things like that. Um, you also have the opportunity to go out um, off campus to different parks and stuff to actually take like nature photography. Um, I've seen students on campus do their own photography um, just around um, like different areas on campus. Um, yeah, and then on the left, we have a photo done by I think actually one of our staff members. Um, he was also into photography, so I included that as well. Um, we also do have photography um, art gallery shows, and uh, we show a lot of our um, students work there. Um, I think that we even have like large printers that print like really, really big photos. And we are, our staff even like teaches us how to frame it and things like that as well. Um, yeah. So that was actually my last slide. Um, thank you guys so much for, you know, listening to this presentation. Um, I've provided my contact information here. And again, um, I'll probably provide these slides to you as well. Um, and with that, I'll turn it back over to Alan. Thanks, Vicky. If you have any questions for me about the SOAR process or the onboarding tool, or just about maybe uh, one of our learning communities, just anything uh, outside of the art and digital media stuff that we talked about today, feel free to contact me at my email right there. Again, my name is Mr. David, david at chabotcollege.edu. You can reach out to me. Again, all of this information will also be in the description on the YouTube that we upload this to, and also in the emails that you're all going to get from your instructors and ROP. So thank you again for joining us today. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And yeah, welcome to Chabot. Take care and bye. <laughs>